Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and I'm looking at an application called Craft. And do you know what? I really like it. If I think about note-taking applications, for the most part I use drafts, but Craft is kind of nice. Let's have a look. First of all, we've got our um, folders. We've got all documents in there. And this is the Wizard Gold documents. Or I can look at all documents or just start documents. We've got stuff that I've put into folders. This is just in a WYSI folder, so this folder is empty at the moment. I can create a new document here if I want to. There's lots of different ways which you can organise on this sort of level. Let's go into all documents again. And this is a document I've been working on. And you can make these documents pretty as well. So let's double click on that and go into it. Now with these documents, to make them pretty, I can make that into a title. I can make that into a subtitle. The next one will make it into a heading. And the next one we'll just leave it as uh, normal text, body text. So you can see there it's set as body text. And I can make it strong text if I want to. Or we we'll just have it as body text. Also you can get into various parts of the text. So for instance this one here, we want this one here to be um, with strike through. Or we want it strike through and italics. You can do all of that just to make things look nice. Now we've got decoration that we can add to the text. So if you're making notes you want something to stand out. You can make this into a focus block, so that makes it stand out by putting this little uh, line to this one side here. We can turn that off if we need to. Then this is a decorated block, and we can change the colour of that. And the colour of the background fits in with the colour of the text. We can get some really nice colours in there. We can use these ones that are um, in this section here, or we can go in this here. We can choose from this big range of colours. So let's put a nice red in there for the moment. Oh green, whatever colour you like. So this one here has been focused and decorated as well. Then if you uh, want to have it so it's not focused or decorated but you want to have a different colour of text you can do that. So this section here we've got it uh, just as ordinary text at the moment. I can make that text blue. Okay so you've got all sorts of different ways of making your text look lovely. Now then what you can also do is you can have grouped things. OK, so I've got two focus blocks selected and I can group them. To group them, you go into Edit and Group or do Command G. That's group them together. Well, this is a group I made earlier. So I double click on that, nothing happens. But if I go to this one over in the end here, I can do that. You can see these two things, something I grouped before. This here, which is a card. So these cards you can make it look nicer or we'll change the style of it. So we can go for classy, we can go for modern, we can go for fun. And we can change the size of the card if we want to. So we can use this one to make it a bit bigger. Or we can put different uh, backgrounds into it. Let's apply the style to that. And again I can go into this here. So you've got many levels that you can go into this here to actually sort of go further and deeper into your work so you can have notes and layers and layers of notes and uh, you can hide stuff away or you can make things appear as you see fit so at the top here we've got our um, levels so you can see a block as a card which is the bottom level this here and then I can go into test group thing we go to automation fun so that's back into the original one here okay so you've got uh, cards to make things look nice so this one here, we can turn that into a card, even though it's a group thing already. So we'll go for uh, fun. Doesn't seem to do much when you change that for fun. So let's go for group thing, fun. And we'll change the uh, style of it. And we'll apply the style. Now you can see with this here, we've got a card within a card. So if I click on this one here, you can see that we've got this card here and this card here inside a card. And we've got a page here. And we'll go to here, add content. And within you can also have um, this one here is just with code. And we've got this one here, which is a sketch. And obviously you're more likely to use sketch if you're on your iPad. And you can actually sort of draw with your Apple Pencil. Let's come back out of this, back into Automation for Fun. We can put images in. This one here is an image that I, bought, I just dragged and dropped in there. You can also drag and drop PDFs in there. This is a PDF I dragged and dropped in there. You've got to-do lists. We've got uh, bulleted lists. This is a bulleted list, and you can also set it so that it's either indented or not indented. Let's take the indentation off that. 
And if we do an indentation with the numbers, you can see if I indent this now, it's going to uh, change the way that this works here. So if I go down here, we've got um, a set of numbers within a set of numbers uh, for our indentations. And you can see I've got links to this page. So if I click on show, we've got uh, links that I've got to the page. So automation for fun is linking to the page and information inside the card. So if I click on that, it takes me exactly to where the link is coming from. So I can go back on this one here and go back into there. Now this is one of the most powerful things within this uh, application, the fact that you can create your own wikis. So for instance, let's uh, go to this one here and I've got the word not because I've been learning how to do not for going camping. So if I go to this here and insert link, that will give me a link to a web page. If I go to this one here, this will insert a block link so I can insert to something which I've got um, some knots. So maybe I want to link to a specific knot. So I want to go to a bowline or a bow line, which is probably the proper pronunciation. If you're a sailor, the bow is the front of the ship and a lot of these uh, knots are from sailing terminology. So I want to link it to a document I've done on the bow line. So click on that. So I've come out of that now and I go to this here, you can see it's linked to the bow line. And again I can show the links back to this page. Automation for fun, that's where I linked it to. And I can go back to where I came from. So that links you back into the block. Also what you can do is here, let's go back down, let's go down to the bottom of here. This is the, uh, the, the block at the bottom here. And you see these six dots over this side here? Look at this, I can move this and put it there if I want to. Okay, so I want to make a uh, link to another page. All I've got to do is use the ampersand key and then I want to go to uh, constrictor knot. So there's the constrictor knot and that will take me to the constrictor knot with that link. Or I can start it off by using two square brackets, the open square brackets. So do that and it changes to an ampersand. And this time I want to go to the Eskimo. So you just start typing in your um, words that are... Um, going to help you find whatever it is you need and I want to go to the Eskimo bow line so that's there. Now this is perfect for studying this is if you've got some studying to do and you've got one set of text and maybe you want to hide an answer so you can put in a question for instance how do I do this sort of knot or what what is this not made out of or what can I use this knot for and then you could have a sort of link which takes your page to give you the answer. So when you're studying, what you do is you answer your question and you use the link going to where it is you've got the answer and check to see if you got it right. That's the perfect way of studying, that is. Okay, so that's uh, one way of doing links. We've got, actually, we've, got two, we've done two ways of doing links. We've got uh, this kind of link here and we've done with um, these links down here. Cool. I think this is a brilliant little application and I thoroughly recommend it. On the uh, Mac, what you've got, this one here, if I want to go into this here and I want to add content, I can click on this little arrow and it takes me into that there. So here's um, a group thing here and I can go into this here and I've got the group th of things inside there. I've got this set up for learning knots. So if I clear this out of the way, if I go back into uh, knots and I go to knots that I know. And as you can see, I've been learning how to do this one here. This Canadian jam knot. I've already learned this one here, so what I can do is I can move this and I can put it up here. So this is going to go into end of line knots here. And I put that there. And as you see, I can um, put it in there. And now I need to, what I need to do is I need to uh, select that and then to indent it and put it into the uh, thing. If I want that to be a bulleted list, then what I've got to do is I've got to click on that there to make it into a bulleted list. Now I've got to go back to there and now it fits here. And that's the other thing with this as well. We've got this bit over here, look. We can do an insert here. So if I want to insert a certain type of text, so if I want to put a text in there, I can put text in there. I can insert lines into this as well. So if I want to put a line in between something, put that in there. You can have uh, straightforward lines like that. You can have a little three dots of a line. Um, I can insert photos. So let's get a photo, drag that and drop that, put the photo in there. So there's a photo. Also, you can go to page details. In page details, which is kind of nice, I can set it to show the cover image. 
Makes it look nice. I can show the title. I've already got a title here with this, this bit here, not so I know. Oh yeah, this bit here as well is um, you can show the author. So with the author, that's basically what something else is really good for. So with crafts, you can also do it so that you can work with somebody else on a document. Um, you can also share a document out to somebody else. Um, I can copy this deep link and I can send it to somebody else. Let's just do that, copy the deep link. Let me go into drafts. And in drafts, I can show you what this deep link looks like. And that's what it looks like. And I can put that elsewhere in my system here and if I want to get straight into it. So let's change this into um, something that's linkable now. And I can click on that. It takes you straight into the um, page in craft. This secret link here, look, so let's get the secret link. It's been copied into the um, clipboard. Let's go back into drafts and let's uh, change that from being clickable. And I'll do command V. Now this one here is a link, look, which I can put into a web browser or someone else can put into a web browser. And we'll paste that link in there. Press enter. And there's my page in the browser. How nice is that? Okay, so uh, we can export it as PDF, export it as Markdown. We can export it as a text bundle. So let's take that and export it as Markdown. You can go in here and have a look at your keyboard shortcuts. So these you've got some general ones. You've got um, for your documents there, editing. Obviously, we can have stuff like uh, undo, command Z. And if we want to make a text block, page block, shift plus enter. All the stuff's in there to make uh, all the sort of things uh, look nice as well with that there. Loads and loads of keyboard shortcuts. You don't have to be sort of uh, stuck with using your trackpad and mouse all the time if you're a keyboard wizard. And you can try it out for free and you can put up to a thousand blocks in there and it won't cost you a thing. And if I do a forward slash, that's something else which gives you some information. We can go into lists, textiles, decorations. Um, I'm using the uh, arrow keys to go through these here. We can go to colours, we can change the colour of it just using the arrow keys. And insert media, we can insert snippets, actions, clear stylings. Oh, another thing you can do as well is if you want to, you can um, link to stuff within the document. So let's just move this up out of the way so we can just show you how this works. Like so I put it under the title there. So now we can't see where the PDF is and I want to go to this within this document. Click on that, takes me straight down to where this thing here, and you see it's um, got it selected to show that's where I was uh, just heading to from my link. Okay, so if you've got this panel hidden, so let's just hide the panel again, and I can click on this one here to insert stuff. I can click on this here to change the styles, go to the page details, uh, go to actions there. I can do all this sort of stuff here. I can um, do sharing and exporting. And then I can get into this information, actions and everything else. The only thing I've got against Craft possibly is the fact that it's another subscription based thing. And I've already got Ulysses on subscription and Draft on subscription. And I need both of those applications for the jobs that I do. So do I want to spend some money out on Craft? I'll tell you what, I'm tempted because it really is a good little application. And I keep wanting to tell you more about Craft because it's just so good. Give it a go. I thoroughly recommend it. Bye-bye now.